Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, Massachusetts. Tom Nappy and Eric Carty on the call. Matt Clark on camera as we bring you Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. It is the first round of the postseason, and this afternoon the Hillers take on a familiar opponent in the Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders. Dover Sherborne won in the preliminary round, four to three in double overtime versus Upper Cape Tech. Dover Sherborne, the 15th seed. Upper Cape Tech was the 18th seed. It was a four to three double overtime win for Dover Sherborne to advance to this round here today. As for the Hillers, this is their first postseason game. Hopkinton comes in at two this afternoon with a record of 17 wins, two losses, and a tie. As I welcome in my broadcast partner, Eric Cardi. Eric, the Hillers have had a little more than a week since they played their last game. Do you think that could affect them? They were red hot to end the season, but do you think the time off could affect them perhaps negatively? Uh, I don't think so, Tom. They, they scheduled a couple of scrimmages in there, so they kept the uh, game faces fresh, and I think they'll give them enough time. Plus, they gave time for uh, Owen Delaney, one of their star players, to heal, and he'll be back, giving them an extra punch to the already strengthful punch they had. And you were, you were talking to Coach McPherson at the beginning of, uh, before the game, and he mentioned that Owen Delaney will be on the second line uh, this afternoon. Yeah, they didn't want to disrupt the... Uh, success at that first line's head and uh, he even mentioned to me uh, that uh, Owen came up to him and uh, was okay with that he actually mentioned it himself because he saw how good that line was playing but he's a, he's a great he's the Bergeron of this team he can do it all and he'll fit in right back into where he was well I know they're certainly happy to have him back that's for sure but right now we're going to send it down to rinkside for the national anthem
And we are ready for hockey here at Pirelli Veterans Arena as the Hopkinton Hillers take on the Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders. And this is a TVL matchup, but it is win or go home for both of these teams here this afternoon. One loss elimination playoffs. And this is a South Division Three sectional matchup between the Blue Raiders and the Hillers. Hopkinton 2-0 against Dover Sherborne this season. And they are looking for the magic number three here today in Franklin as DJ Sloan entering the face-off circle. He'll go up against Cole Condon for the Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders. And we are underway in this playoff matchup in front of a large Hopkinton audience here in Franklin. And the shot by Simos is deflected away. That was uh, put back off of a Will Abbott shot over Sherbourne, working up the near side. Off the glass goes Markin. Behind the net it goes. Hopkinton keeping it in Dover Sherbourne territory to start this game off. Three 15 minute periods. We are in period number one as Dover Sherborne trying to work into Hopkinton territory. Papiel puts it up the near side. Chased down by Lindquist and we'll get a whistle for the icing. Well, good stop by the Hillers, Tom. I think having that two weeks off, they had a little pent up energy there, even though they had the scrimmages. And you can see they came out, they know what playoff hockey's about, and they came out firing. And in the game right now, Owen Delaney, he's been out most of the season with an injury, glad to see him back. And I'm sure the week and a half, two weeks off they had certainly helped out Owen Delaney quite a bit. As he's in the face-off circle up against Max Paolato. Here comes the Hillers, that one off a defenseman by Walsh. Now back to the left point to Saporoshitz who puts it down the boards. Chased down by Hamlet. Back towards Saporoshitz and he'll risk that one into the slot. And it's taken by Dover Sherborne. Handled along the near side by Connor Delaney. DS has it. Here's Carather is looking for a shot here. Wide to the right it goes. Hillers working up the near side. Connor Delaney trying to get it away from Paolato. And now to the blue line of Rooney. Rooney puts it over to the far side in front of the Hillers student section who turned out in large numbers here today to support their beloved Hopkinton Hillers hockey team in this playoff matchup. The winner of this game will advance to play at Gallo Arena in Bourne against Dartmouth. Over on the far side, Walsh puts it into the neutral zone towards Hamlet. Here comes Delaney, looking for the shot, there's a goal! Right off the bat, Owen Delaney, welcome back! 1-0 Hillers! Yeah, I think Tom missing all that time his senior year. He knew he was going to come out and play it with everything he got, man, right off the bat. He shows what he's been doing all year long when he was in there. Well, he certainly doesn't seem like he has anything left over from the injury. Yep, nice play from Tommy Hamlet too to get that puck over. DJ Sloan in the face-off circle for the Hillers going up against Cole Condon. Here comes Dover Sherborne, Nick Morkin working up the far side, handled by Lindquist in the corner. Pops it off the glass. Now into the neutral zone just in front of Will Abbott. Handled by Papiel for Dover Sherborne. There's Sloan. Sloan trying to turn it around. Someone lost their stick out there. That's Markin losing his stick. Over on the far side, Lindquist trying to pick it up. Back to the neutral zone, handled by Sloan. Over to the near side of Simos. Simos into the right circle, turns it around. Trying to get away from the defenders as Abbott trying to sneak it out, but Dover Sherborne able to handle it as Papiel gets a stick on it. Now a shot from the near side from Lindquist. And that was just wide to the right of the net. Up the far side it goes. Lindquist chases it down. Well, Hiller's being aggressive early on. Up one to nothing. 12-29 left to go in this first period. Here comes Abbott. Abbott trying to leave it behind for Sloan. Sloan couldn't pick up on it. Carathers will take it up for Dover Sherborne. Chased down in the corner by Saporoshitz. Saporoshitz pops it off the boards towards Abbott. Handled by Dover Sherborne. Back to the corner it goes. As Connor Delaney turns it around. Back towards Dover Sherborne territory. And we'll get a whistle. 
Yeah, right now, Tom, the Hellers have Dover Sherbert on their heels. They haven't been able to establish anything in Hopkins' end. They just dumped the puck in, and the Hellers have had a great breakout, not even giving Dover Sherbert a chance to get any of their forecheck going at all. Well, Blue Raiders will have an opportunity here off the icing. Right now, it's all Hillers. Tom Higgins in there for Dover Sherbourne. Up against Griffin Zach for the Hillers. Connor Delaney up in the corner. Being chased down by Roman. Puts it over to the far side. Popped off the boards by Rogers. Here comes the Hillers as Temple looking for a shot here. And it's deflected away. Still out in front of the net. And Walt Rogers couldn't get the shot he was looking for on that one. Rogers in the right circle. Putting it towards Temple in the corner. Dover Sherbourne takes control. Coming up the near side, here is Avedekin, and Avedekin puts that to the left of the net. Saparoshitz up the far side. Over behind the Dover Sherborne net now. That's taken by Lindquist into the slot. Here he goes, trying to backhand that one in, and it was turned away by the goalie. Walsh trying to get a secondary attempt on it. Chased down by Owen Delaney on the near side. Up the boards goes Markin. Over Sherborne trying to clear their own zone, having all kinds of troubles. Hillers putting the pressure on as expected. And here comes the Blue Raiders looking for an opportunity here, but turned away by Hamblin. And the neutral zone, Pejolato gets it back into Hillers' territory. Larry will set it up for Gilbert. Gilbert up the near side. We'll get a whistle here for the icing. Hillers and Dover Sherborne going to change things up on the ice with 10.44 left to go in the first period. And we'll have a face-off in the Hillers zone. Pelato up against Sloan. Sloan over to Saparoshitz. Now towards Abbott on the near side. From the blue line, and O'Leary is going to wrap that one up as Standish Carruther is putting on the pressure off the pop heel shot. I think that's just their first shot on net, Tom. Just a little trickler at that, getting in there. Well, Dover Sherborne switched up their line a little bit, hoping for some better luck in this series. As coming around the net is Connor Delaney. Up the far side he goes. Here comes Abbott on a quick break. Abbott up the far side boards. Two defenders in front of him. Now to the slot. Simos trying to back in that one in. Wide to the left. Abbott on the side of the net. And it's caught up behind the net. Over towards Saparoshitz, puts it to the corner. Abbott trying to clear it out. Back towards the blue line. Has popped up the boards by Saparoshitz. Over behind the net is Simos. Simos with control, trying to leave it out. Saparoshitz will chase it down into the neutral zone. Over to the near side of Sloan. Here comes Sloan, trying to get around Papil. Over Sherborne able to work it out as Markin with possession on the near side. Markin up the boards, he goes. Sloan takes over. DJ Sloan is going to take it up. Over to the left circle. Too many Blue Raiders in front of him for a shot. Takes a hard hit on the boards, back to the blue line. That one wristed wide to the left of the net by Gilbert. Over Sherborne. We're trying to work up ice, but the Hillers just shut them down every time, Eric. Yeah, they're just right on them. They're not even giving them a chance to breathe or move. A steal here as Abbott was coming down. Solid steal by Arnone. 4.14 left to go in the first period. 1-0 Hillers. As O'Leary will put that one down the near side boards. That's handled by Temple. Over towards Griffin Zach. Now on the far side, Gilbert. There's Temple getting in on the action. Quick break here as Avedekin looking for a shot. Turned away by Lindquist. That's passed over to the near side by Gilbert. Temple puts it into Dover Sherborne territory. And that was played off of Max Tien. Back to the line, up the boards by Rogers. Over the corner it goes. Tien gets a stick on it. Excuse me, 8.35 left to go. We got a net blocking the clock, so my vision was a little uh, <laughs> off there on the time left. Now we're up in the nosebleed section. <laughs> Towards the roof. We could actually touch the roof from where we are right now. Over on the near side, Connor Delaney with the wrister. And that one is turned away. Over on the side of the net, trying to jam it in was Hamblet, but he is turned away by the goaltender, Aiden Britt, who's been very busy in this first period. Now the Hillers with another opportunity here from the right circle. That wrister turned away by Britt from Hamblet. Back to the blue line it goes, and we'll get a whistle offsides. 
Yeah, I know we've talked about it all year long, Tom, the hill of speed, but uh, it's hard to believe, but I think they're even a little bit faster tonight. I think they've got those playoff juices flowing, and they're out there, uh, you know, wanting to make sure that they let Dover Sherbert know they're here to play. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're just flying around out there. And so far in control. Pass back by Paolados. Sloan looking for the shot there, turned away by Britt. Lindquist with the wrister, and that one's wrapped up by Britt. And fortunately for Britt, he was able to wrap that one up, or Abbott would have had a goal. Yeah, I think Abbott actually tipped it and redirected it, and that was a great save. The other thing for Dover Sherman, too, I mean, coming off a double overtime win, it's an emotional lift, but it's also a draining lift, so I, they might just be trying to get themselves in this game. Now for Owen Delaney, keeping in mind he was injured for about two-thirds of the season, he scored the only Hiller's goal so far. That was his seventh goal of the season. And he's hoping for a lot more in the playoffs as Gilbert puts that up the far side. Set up by Britt, picked up by Papiel. Handled by Simos, trying to turn around. There was Sloan. Over Sherborne able to work it back up, but quickly turned away by Simos. Lindquist with possession over to the neutral zone, handled by Markin. Put back to the neutral zone by Gilbert. Here comes Sloan up the far side, and he's slammed into the glass by two defenders. Abbott trying to get a handle on it. Abbott sneaks it out. Over to the corner he goes. He's trying to set up Simos in the slot there. Now Lindquist on the chain, so the Hill has had to pull back. Seven minutes and counting left to go in this first period. As Markin pops it up into Hiller's territory, turned away by Saparoshitz. Rooney puts it back. And Saparoshitz going to chase it down. Here he comes up the near side. A couple Blue Raiders in front of him looking for a shot here it is Paolato. Paolato turns it towards the slot. And that shot turned away. Great defensive play by Connor Delaney, denying Standish characters. And here comes Temple. Temple in the right circle, leaves it out towards Rogers. Up the near side we go. Connor Delaney at the blue line. Connor Delaney pops it back into Dover Sherborne territory. Handled by Rooney. Rooney off the glass. And O'Leary going to let that one flow as Connor Delaney is there to pick it up. It's back towards Griffith Zach. Maybe a shot here for Hamlet, trying to put that one in, turned away, and then a secondary attempt turned away. Great goaltending by Aiden Britt. Yeah, he came up big there for Dover Sherman. Those are two great chances by Hamlet. Well, Dover Sherborne certainly owes their goaltender right now. He is keeping them in this game. In most situations, that would have been an easy Hillers goal. Yeah, especially with the momentum the Hillers have. They pop that one in there, 2 nothing, and they're just you know, really rolling right off. Owen Delaney in the face-off circle. But back towards Hiller's territory. O'Leary will turn it away and set it up for Lindquist. Lindquist trying to work up the near side. Now Hamlet doing battle with Markin. Over along the corner, left out in front. There's another Sherborne goal! Wow, hey, Max Arnone getting the shot on that one. Yeah, the defense just lost him there. He's sitting on the corner. Got to pick him up, be on him. Well, Eric, maybe uh, Dover Sherborne came to play today too. Yeah, you can throw out the regular season. I know the Hill has won 2-0, but this is playoff hockey. It's totally different, so. Right now the Hill has just got to do what they're doing. They don't let that one goal affect them. They just keep playing the way they're playing. They should have no problem. Well, we have a tie game, 1-1, one one, 5.39 left in the first period. E.J. Sloan up against Cole Condon. Over Sherborne. Would love to pull off the upset. Here comes Abbott. Abbott puts that off a defender. Now left out in front. Britt turns it away, and the net gets off the mark. It's only, I think, the rate of second shot on net, too, but he was positioned perfectly for that. It was a nice feed from behind the net. I got to say, Aiden Britt is impressing me in net for Dover Sherborne. He has made some tremendous saves. Hiller certainly owning in possession time, but Aiden Britt allowing Dover Sherborne to stay in this game, and now we're tied at one with 5.25 left. Connor Delaney puts that towards the right circle, popped up in the air by Kenny. Over on the far side for the Hillers is Saparoshitz. Puts it back towards Sloan, popped into the Hillers zone by Paolato. Up along the boards, turned away by Sloan over to the blue line. 
Here comes Sloan for the Hillers. All kinds of Blue Raiders around him, however. Sloan into the left circle. He's going to put that one behind the net. And he just ran into a gang of Blue Raiders there. Connor Delaney over on the near side corner. Over to Abbott, left out in front. Sloan went, had a great opportunity there, but couldn't get the shot off. Needed to be a lefty on that one. Over on the far side, picked up by Abbott. Now it is back towards Sloan. Top of the right circle, left for Simos. Simos is trying to jam that one in. Abbott. The Blue Raiders all around him. Dover Sherborne quick to flood their defensive zone and get bodies in front of the net. Here comes Paolato looking for another goal. The Ritzner turned away by O'Leary. And a secondary attempt will not happen by Higgins. Up behind the net now. Higgins had an opportunity, wide open net in front of him, but just could not get the shot off. Just straight out missed the puck. Good back checking by the Hillers too. Got just enough of them just to throw off his balance. Over to the top of the circle, up around the net it goes, and that's hit up in the air and out of play by Gilbert. Well, we have ourselves a game today, Eric. We do, Tom, and uh, I think the assistant coaches will hop in and watch the uh, Dover Sherb another playoff game, and uh, they said the goaltender has, was just phenomenal in that game as well, so he's been their best player tonight so far as well. Dover Sherborne, 11 8 and 2 during the regular season, the Hillers 17 2 and 1, but none of that matters now. It's one loss elimination hockey. Over on the far side, Kyle Rogers leaves that behind for Gilbert as he takes a hard whack into the boards. Up behind the net, Lindquist. Lindquist puts it towards the far side. Here comes Rogers. Rogers, top of the left circle, turned away by Tian. Jammed up along the far side corner. As Rogers trying to knock it out, now over towards the near side. Temple on the chase down. The Vedic in there for Dover Sherborne. Back to the Hiller zone we go. Connor Delaney will pick it up. Delaney puts it up the near side. Here comes Temple into the right circle. The wrister turn away. Another good save there by Britt. Back towards Saporoshitz. Saporoshitz sneaks it into the slot. Temple with the backhanded pass over to the far side. 3-10 and counting left to go in the first period. Hopkinton one, Dover Sherborne one, as that one is knocked out of play off the net by Saporoshitz. Well, so far, Dover Sherborne is doing a good job of keeping the Hillers out of the middle uh, in the offensive zone there, not giving them those clear shots or making them, forcing them to shoot that puck for the outside. And uh, if they do that, they're going to have to crash the net from that off wing to look for some rebounds. On the faceoff, Owen Delaney up against Cole Condon. Over Sherborne with some momentum in their favor after scoring a goal at 5.39 left to go, courtesy of Max Arnone. Jammed up along the near side, a number of players for both teams there. Connor Delaney trying to pop it towards the middle. Here comes Walsh. Walsh back to Connor Delaney. Delaney handles it up the near side. Now on the chase down Hamlet, and we'll have a whistle there for the icing. Now, good look. Hamlet just got hung up a little bit with a Dover Sherborne defenseman there. And the Hillers puck movement has been real impressive. They've been making some tape to tape passes, which has uh, got the breakout working in good fashion. Yeah, it's just been the goaltending at Dover Sherborne, Zayden Britt, that has allowed them to very much be in this game. Lindquist up along the far side. Here he comes as he passes it down to Walsh. Now over to the slot. Shot opportunity here. Delaney puts it in. Oh, and Delaney feeling it. Welcome back. 2.28 left to go. Another Hiller's goal. He was not going to be denied on that one. He saw the opening, made a nice move around, and just slid it off the backhand right into the corner. Two goals for Owen. That is now eight on the season, his short season. Hillers with a quick break here. Abbott, top of the right circle. The wrister turned away by the defenseman. That one batted down by Gilbert. Up the far side he goes. Handled by Rooney. Pops it off the glass. Back to the neutral zone towards Lindquist up along the near side. Rooney puts it over to the far side. Chased down by Cole Condon. Condon contested by Gilbert. Here comes the Hillers. Another break here. Simos into the left circle. The wrister. And that one's covered up by Britt. A yeah, good break. Uh, the Hillers again, just their passing is just crisp and clean right on, allowing them to get those breaks in. DJ Sloan in the faceoff circle against Cole Condon. 
Will Abbott with possession. The dangerous Will Abbott. And they are keying in on Abbott, that's for sure. They always have at least two bodies on them. Simos up behind the net, jammed up along the near side corner. Sloan trying to poke it out. Abbott gets involved in the action. Sloan getting a stick on it. Popped off the glass into the neutral zone. Turned away by Connor Delaney, but a quick break here for Dover Sherborne. O'Leary is going to have to get that one away as Cole Condon was quick up the ice. And now a shot from the blue line is wide to the right by Rooney. Left out in front, Abbott turns it away. Back to the neutral zone we go. Handled back ice by Popiel. Over towards Rooney. Abbott leaving that one for Sloan. With possession now of Vedekin. Over along the near side, Abbott with possession. Approaching a minute left to go in the first period. Over to the blue line, Gilbert. Along the far side with possession. He'll risk that one up in the air. Put that towards the near side corner, allow the Hillers to regroup. Trying to sneak it around to Vedekin. Turned away by Lindquist. Left out in front into the slot. Up the boards. And there's Gilbert. Now along the near side, Lindquist. Lindquist gets around a couple of Blue Raiders. Here he goes into dover Sherborne territory. Along the far side now. Hamlet trying to sneak that one out. And here comes the Hillers looking for a shot there was Walsh. Delaney gets a hit on a Blue Raider along the far side. Nice hard hit as Tom Higgins with all kinds of ice shavings on his back. Here comes Sean Walsh now up the far side. Walsh. Yeah, you want to get that puck in deep at that point, Tony. You want to send it around. He had people coming on the other side. Yeah, offsides there with six seconds left. First period, a two to one lead for the Hillers. An action packed 15 minutes to start off the postseason for Hopkinton. Owen Delaney up against Bayolato. Delaney trying to sneak it out, jammed up with Paolato right on the face-off circle. And that's going to do it for the first period. The Hillers certainly dominating possession-wise, but the goaltending of Aiden Britt has allowed Dover Sherborne to stay in this game, Eric. Yeah, that's the story of the game is uh, Britton goaltending, and for the Hillers, it's the uh, return to Owen Delaney. Uh, I mean, most people coming back their senior year, you'd, you'd think they'd be mad that they weren't going to play on the first line, not Owen. He play wherever you can help the team out, and he's just going to play his hardest, and he's shown that already with uh, two spectacular goals, some big hits, some great back checking, and winning all his faceoffs. A whole lot more hockey to go at the end of one. It's the Hopkinton Hillers 2, Dover Sherborne 1. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey on HCAM. My name is Connor. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Alma and Gal, and we love H Camp. I want to be a camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, Massachusetts, as we are set to enter the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders. A two to one lead for the Hillers. It all started less than two minutes into the first with 13-19 left. Owen Delaney put in a goal. Then with 5.39 left, it was Max Arnone for Dover Sherborne. Then at 2.28, Owen Delaney strikes again with his second goal of the game. And that gave the Hillers a two to one lead heading into the second period. The winner of this game advances on to Gallo Arena in Bourne to take on 10th seeded Dartmouth, who was 10-7 and three during the regular season. 11-7-3 overall, Dartmouth defeated Hollison to advance to the quarter finals. And the Hopkinton Hillers and Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders hoping for a date at Gallo Arena in Bourne with Dartmouth. Game will likely be on Monday. Of course, weather playing a big impact into the postseason schedule as we are underway into the second period. Dover Sherborne comes off right off the bat as Nick Markin puts it to the left of the net. And a hard hit as Simos pops that one off the glass. Chased down by Popiel. 
Eric, do you think that hit was clean? A little high, I think. It was you know, I good, think in, good intent, but it looks like he came up with the hands. Yeah, I thought it was high. Behind the net is Rogers. Over to Simos along the near side. Back up to Rogers now. Back to the neutral zone it goes. Gilbert will chase it down and to the Hopkinson back ice. And now handled on the far side by Markin. Into the circle, that one off of a defender. That one got a piece of Sloan. And here comes Sloan. Sloan leaving up out in front for Simos. Simos top of the circle, uh, and that's off the glove. Secondary attempt turned away, still out in front of the net as Simos puts it towards Abbott. A near goal there, but some great goaltending work by Britt as that one wristed high by Simos. Still in play, Sloan out in front of the net. Takes it over to the far side. Up behind the net now to the blue line, Connor Delaney is gonna try to get the shot off. That one turned away by Markin. Some great work in net there by uh, Britt, Eric. Yeah, I was just about to say, uh, you know, the first line was a little bit quiet in the first period. He had a couple chances, but I think they're going to play a big part before this game is over. You know, Abbott, Sloan, and uh, Simos uh, have been playing great. Uh, I think they've been averaging close to three or four points a game, and uh, they'll, they'll be uh, a part of this before it's over. We'll have a face-off in the Hillers defensive zone off the icing call. When Delaney was in the face-off circle that time. Owen Delaney probably going to be in there most of the game as that one turned away by Delaney off the tee in shot. Now up along the far side, number of Hillers there as Hamlet briefly lost his stick but is able to pick it up. A shot from the top of the circle and the secondary attempt nearly knocked in by Paolato. Just a little bit too wide to the right. Saporoshitz jammed up along the corner, up against Paolato in the slot. Wide to the left goes Kenny. Up along the far side, Hamlet and now Racing up the ice, Owen Delaney looking for a shot here. Leaves it out in front and trying to jam it in. And it looks like Britt able to wrap that one up somehow. Just couldn't get enough on that to lift it up, almost. Uh, and Ted down the other end, Hamlet made a great defensive play, lifting up the stick to keep them getting a good chance on uh, Dylan, uh, Dylan O'Leary. Well, you could tell Britt was expecting the shot, but Owen Delaney just put it towards the corner of the net, hoping that either Hamlet or Sloan could jam it in. Over to the near side corner. That one knocked down by Gilbert. Back to the far side corner we go. Hard hit into the boards as Rogers sacrifices his body there. Chased down on the near side by Gilbert. Pops it up the boards, handled by Gadrault for Dover Sherborne. Gadrault lifts it up to Hiller's territory we go. Larry will let it float by for the icing. Well, Dovalshire was certainly not laying down. I mean, they have really brought some intensity of their own in this game. Uh, far cry from the first two games we watched. They uh, weren't nearly as physical as this one, which uh, playoff hockey is just a whole different game. It certainly is. Whole different atmosphere as well. Big, big turnout for Hillers Nation. And it's good to see the students supporting this hockey team. They certainly have earned the support of the student body. Over along the far side, Griffin Zach left out towards Sloan into the right circle now. Chased down by Pop Deal. Sloan gets a stick on it. Trying to jam it out towards Abbott, but a number of Blue Raiders in the area as Markin puts it towards the near side. And that shot turned away by Simos, and then a secondary to Will Abbott. We there knew, he is. He knew they weren't going to keep them off the board for long. Will Abbott was just waiting for his opportunity to strike, and he does. With 12-13 left in the second period, assisted by Steve Simos. Yeah, credit Simos with a the play there. Got his head around quick. He was coming out of the zone to back check. Saw the puck coming out, immediately turned and got it and sent it right into Abbott, standing alone in front. 3-1 Hillers. Pretty unbelievable stuff there. And you know, it's come to a point where you're just waiting to see when Abbott's going to get a goal. As Will Abbott with his 33rd goal of the season. It's not a matter of if, it's definitely when. Exactly. 52 points overall for Will Abbott. Owen Delaney up the far side. That one turned away by Britt. Owen Delaney backhander turned away by Britt. Secondary attempt turned away. Jammed up along the corner. Walsh is able to poke it out. Owen Delaney up along the far side. Connor Delaney getting involved. Here comes Dover Sherborne on a quick break. Condon looking for a shot here. Leaves it to the left circle. Just got by Markin. Condon probably should have just took the shot there, Eric. Yeah, they're lucky too. That play looked like it was offside. Over along the corner, Saparoshitz. 
Pops that one off the boards. Along the near side we go. And we'll get a whistle here for the offsides. As Max Tian had it up along the near side. Yeah, in a game like this, Tom, uh, to your point, that you do not want to turn down any chances to get a puck on net here because you never know how it's going to bounce. Griffin Zach up against Paolato. Over to the Hillers back ice, handled by O'Leary. Lindquist will take it up. And trying to take it up anyway, but that's stolen away into the right circle. That shot turned away by O'Leary as Paolato getting a good shot off of that opportunity. Draw puts it to the far side. Here comes Griffin Zach. Zach on a break into the slot, turned away. Carathers tries to put it back towards the neutral zone, but Lindquist handles it. Up along the far side, Zach turns it around. Behind the net we go. Up the near side, top of the circle as Gilbert puts it to the far side. Back to the Hillers back ice, and we'll get the ice. 10.48 left to go in the second period. A 3-1 lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. So in Delaney with a pair of goals in the first. Will Abbott strikes in the second period. In the face-off circle, it's DJ Sloan for the Hillers up against Condon. And along the far side as Sloan puts it towards Connor Delaney. He risks that one up. Handled by Condon. And racing up ice is Markin around the net it goes, and he didn't get there in time. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call, Matt Clark on camera, bringing you Hopkinton Hillers playoff hockey on HCAM. Our pleasure to be with you here for this Saturday afternoon matchup. DJ Sloan up against Cole Condon. Sloan over to Simos, back to the blue line, Connor Delaney. Up the boards he goes. Good passing by the Hillers. Saperosius looking for a shot there. He's turned away. Will Abbott along the near side corner. Abbott trying to get to that one, but just got by him. But Simos puts it back around. And here comes Sloan. Sloan takes it out. Turns it around into the circle. Behind the net to Abbott. Left out into the high slot to Simos. He's trying to risk that one up. But defenders all around. That one off of Rooney. Sloan trying to set up Saperoschitz, couldn't get the shot he wanted on that one. Saperoschitz handles it along the near side, puts it around the boards. And Dover Sherman continue to do a real good job in their own end of blocking up the middle, not giving Hillers anything straight down the middle. There's Sloan. Sloan sneaks it around defender, some good stick work there along the far side boards. Put up behind the net. That's handled by Tian. Over to the corner. Sloan gets involved in, or Walsh rather, gets involved in the action in the corner. There's Walsh there trying to sneak that one out. Walsh, Sloan, and Abbott all along the far side. Now a pass up to Gilbert, who's towards the blue line. He'll put it around the boards. Handled by Sloan. Back towards Lindquist, who pops it off the glass. Walsh sacrificing his body there. Handled along the near side, put back towards the neutral zone by a Blue Raider. Gilbert turns it away. And Dover Sherburn was looking for a break there as Paolato was trying to sneak it by, but he was denied by Rogers. Rogers trying to get to it, but he's cut off by Tian. Here comes Lindquist. Lindquist with a good move there to get by the Blue Raider. Back towards Dover Hiller's territory, the wrister. That's a glove save by O'Leary as Tom Higgins on that shot. And so far, Tom, both teams with the intensity of a playoff game like this, uh, the one thing you got to try to do is keep your emotions in check and not... Uh, try to do too much or get caught doing something that's going to give you a penalty. No penalties in the game so far. Yeah, it's been a pretty clean game for the most part. Saperoschitz around the net. Over towards Hamlet. Hamlet trying to put that one up the boards. And the high slot. And that one just wide to the left by Roman. Left out in front. And that's turned away. Good defensive play by Connor Delaney sacrificing his body in front of the net. And Britt lost it as that one went off the side of the net, but now is able to set it up. Over the far side corner we go. A lot of hard hitting in this game, uh, despite it being a relatively clean game. Yeah, and I think the refs are letting it go just a little bit more than they would in a normal game. As they should. Yep. Here comes Walsh up the near side. Walsh into the left circle. Sets up Owen Delaney wide to the right. He goes. Back along the far side. Gilbert trying to turn it away, but unable to. And O'Leary will have to set it up. Back towards Walsh. He goes. Connor Delaney 
is able to turn away a Vedekin. Up along the far side corner, Gilbert. Gilbert puts that one out of play. 7.49 left to go in the second period. It remains a 3-1 game. Hillers with a quick goal to start off the second period, thanks to Will Abbott with an assist from Steve Simos. Abbott picking up his 33rd goal. Simos with his 17th assist of the year. On the faceoff, Sloan. That one kicked out by Paolato. Here comes Simos. Simos trying to break up the near side. Leaves that one up for Abbott. And Abbott. Delayed offside here. Yep. Dover Sherborne will try to take it down. Abbott off the skate. And now we'll have the offsides yeah, whistle. <laughs> Ref lost track of that. It was still a delayed offside. Yep. That one just clearing the blue line. So we'll get the whistle. DJ Sloan against Paolato. Over towards Gilbert. Gilbert is going to be turned away by Britt with a very far away shot. Abbott trying to leave it out front for Simos. Abbott being contested behind the net by Paolato. Next Paolato, another player to look out for on Dover Sherborne. Good all around puck handler and a good shooter. Up along the near side, Simos. Here he comes up the boards over to Abbott. Abbott hoping for a break here. Abbott. Into the side, into the right circle, and can't get much on that one. Sloan trying to get possession, and he's denied by Carothers. Here comes Carothers on a break. Lindquist is there to get a stick on it, and Carothers is going to be met with a hard hit by Sloan. Up along the far side, that one just gets passed by Abbott, and now the chase down by Gudralt, turned away by Britt. Gudralt up to the near side. Saperoshitz puts it along the boards. Abbott into the far side corner. Abbott puts it back around. Griffin Zack on the chase down, unable to get to it. It'll be handled by Arnon. Into the left circle. Griffin Zack pops it along the wall. And now up behind the net as Walsh turns it away, or Rogers rather, over to the far side. Coming up is Markin. Here's Arnon who lifts it up into the Hiller's defensive zone. Saparoshitz puts it over to the far side. And that's stolen away, but we'll have an offsides. Standish characters was hoping for a break there. Yeah, we've seen some real big hits so far, Tom. Oh, both, so, both so teams are really into it. They certainly are. And it's been an exciting hockey game, to say the least. Owen Delaney up against Paolato. Over to the near side, chased down by Walsh. Walsh tripped up, handled by Hen Kenny. That's over towards Hamlet, who's met with a hit into the boards. Owen Delaney races up, trying to leave that one into the slot for Walsh. That's put back up into Dover Sherborne territory by Gilbert. Around the wall it goes. Hard hit into the boards along the far side corner as Owen Delaney meets up with Carothers. Now turned away by Rooney. Lindquist puts it around the boards. And Britt taking a risk here, coming out from the net. And that was a big risk with many hillers in Dover Sherborne territory. And good forechecking by Owen Delaney there. It certainly was. Gilbert up the near side, handled by Tian. Over the far side we go. Redekin trying to get a stick on it, and we'll have a whistle for the offsides. Just one of the other things that Owen brings to the team is just the affectionateness the other players see the way he plays the game just hard every shift inside whether it's forechecking back checking and that just carries over to the whole rest of the team and brings the whole level of the other team up on the face off it'll be DJ Sloan up against Cole Condon Sloan puts it back towards Lindquist now to the near side Saperoshitz Simos along the wall here comes Simos Simos gonna draw the whistle here for the offsides Sloan was already across. Four fifty-four left to go in the second period. A three-to-one Hillers lead. Dover Sherborne not going away. In the circle, Sloan up the far side. He's contested by a couple of Blue Raiders as he takes it behind the net. 
in his alleyway was Papiel. Connor Delaney at the blue line. Trying to risk that one in. That one had to be turned away by Britt. Now along the corner is Sloan. Broken stick for one of the DS players. Yeah, so they're down a guy here. Sloan trying to put it back towards the neutral zone. Knocked up the wall by Saperoshitz. Handled behind the net by Papiel. Papiel will just put that one up the boards, and that'll be nice thing. Yeah. Player left to go get a stick there, so they wanted to get that puck out. Yeah, certainly can't blame him on that. That's a good description of the hard hitting in this game. <laughs> Dover Sherborne certainly bringing it today. That's for sure. Hats off. They aren't going away. Up along the far side, Griffin Zach chasing it down. Here comes Temple. Temple over to the blue line to Gilbert. Gilbert, wide to the right there. Top of the right circle, Lindquist. Puts behind the net. Temple trying to set it up in the slot. That one turned away, Lindquist chases it down, over towards Gilbert. Gilbert up the near side. And that's handled by Tian behind the net. Here comes Dover Sherborne trying to race into Hiller's territory. 3.45 and counting left to go in the second period. Up along the far side, the wrister by Avedekin. Valeri will set it up for Gilbert. Gilbert up towards Rogers. That's handled by Tian. Near side, Higgins. Higgins takes it across. Larry will cover that one up with Puff, with uh, Vedekin closing in. And this line for the Hill is Tom's done a real good job. Uh, Zach Temple and Rogers uh, playing a real vital role here, giving the first two lines a breather, and they've had some good offensive chances on their own. Not only have they kept over Sherbin from getting chances, but they've had a couple scoring chances for themselves. Oh, Owen Delaney back into the game with the second line, and here comes up the far side, Hamblet. Larry has to cover that one up. Well, Larry being uh, put to work a little bit here in the second period. Owen Delaney up against Cole Condon in the face-off circle. 3.17 left to go in the period. I'm sure we're gonna switch it up now. Are known in the circle. Connor Delaney around the net, he goes over towards Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz puts back towards the far side. Potential break opportunity here if Hamlet can get around the defender, appeal. Up along the far side, Walsh. And into the right circle was Hamlet, but he met up with a Blue Raider. Connor Delaney trying to get to that one. He's able to somehow get a stick on it and turn it towards the neutral zone to Hamlet. Hamlet up the near side to Walsh. Around the boards it goes. Walsh on the chase down, racing up against Gadral. Hamblet met with a hard hit along the far side corner. I think we might have a penalty here. I think he's going to call them both. I'm not sure how we get both out of that, but it looked like I don't know. Someone had a high stick there. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. And we'll see who's heading to the box. Looks like Walsh getting a little talking to, and it's going to be Sean Walsh for the Hillers and Johnny Goudreau for Dover Sherborne, so we'll have a four on four. And again, with the Hill of speed, this is uh, going to favor them. They're going to play five on five. Five on five, excuse me. Sloan up against Paolato. Well, uh, penalties cancel out each other, so no harm done there. On the air side corner, Simos trying to take that one out. Another heavy hit. Simos leaves that towards Rogers. Rogers and Abbott met up in the corner. There's Carathers. Puts it down towards Tian. Over to the slot, Lindquist. Back along the far side we go. Well, it's been kind of a back and forth second period, especially for the last few minutes. No team has really been able to establish any kind of momentum. Jammed up along the corner. Trying to dig it out for the Hillers is Gilbert. Gilbert with a couple of Blue Raiders there. Sloan is able to knock that one towards Simon. That one turned away by Britt. As Sloan jammed up into the corner. Behind the net, he goes to Abbott. Out in front, Simos with the wrister, and that was nearly a goal just wide of the right. Still in play, Lindquist up along the far side. Nice set up by Will Abbott there. Lindquist trying to jam that one in with the backhander, but turned away by a defender. 
Great defensive play out in front of the net, and now it's loose in the Hiller's territory. Chased down by Sloan as he puts it off the far side boards. Here comes Sloan on a break as Dover Sherborne switching things up. Hiller's catching him in transition, and that one turned away off the Simo shot by Britt. Another great save by the Dover Sherborne goaltender, Aiden Britt. Along the corner, Sloan. That was dangerous territory for Dover Sherborne. They're switching things up as three the Hillers one, have yeah. a break. They got caught in a change there. Yeah. Hillers had a good three on one. They set up the triangle and got a good shot off. Just another great save by Britt. 106 left to go. And no matter what the outcome, I think uh, Dover Sherborne owes Britt a steak dinner or something for keeping them in this yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, they know there's no tomorrow, so there's no give up. Doesn't matter if it's going to be 5 1, 3 1. They're going to keep playing until the very last whistle. They certainly will. Owen Delaney up against Cole Condon. Here comes the Hillers, Owen Delaney up along the near side. That one turned away by Arnone. Still up in dover Sherborne territory, however. Handle it into the left circle, leaves it out in the slot. Owen Delaney couldn't get the shot off. And turned away by Markin. Another DS player without a stick. Yeah, another hard hit too along the far side. That's gonna draw a whistle. Markin knocked down to the ice, and we might have a Hillers penalty here. And it looks like it could be on Owen Delaney. Yeah, they're gonna call him on a slash. Ooh, what do you think about that one? Uh, the, the way they've been calling it, I, you know, they're going to call it the way they were earlier. Then well, it's, no, it's not Owen Delaney. It's going to be Hunter Temple. Owen Delaney okay. thought it was him. I, I didn't first. see that one, though. So. He goes, me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, Dover Sherborne with a humongous opportunity here. They will be on the power play for the next two minutes. 45.9 left in the second period, but, of course, that will continue into the third. DJ Sloan up against Cole Condon. Up towards the near side of Rooney. Dover Sherborne, I think, needs a goal here if they want any chance in this game. They've got to take advantage of the power play. Because I don't think you're going to have many of them today. No. Nope. Up along the near side, Markin. And we'll have a whistle off sides. 30.5 left to go. Face off in the neutral zone. And also momentum-wise for the Hillers there, not only giving up a goal in the last 30 seconds. It's, uh, well, period, it's just a big momentum swing there, so they just want to make sure that they're playing good, tight defense here on this kill. Right. Sloan up against Condon. And typically, it's the Hillers who score in the last 30 seconds of a period. There's Rooney trying to cut across. Lindquist puts that back into Dover Sherborne territory. Some good work there. Britt will turn it away. The near side. Handled by Simos with the wrister, and that was a near goal just wide to the right. Simos had a pretty good shot on that one from... Very far away. Great kill here by the Hillers. Oh, excellent. And the second period about to run out. And Rooney just skates it off. And that's going to do it for period number two. The Hopkinton Hillers strike again early in the second period. It was Will Abbott off an assist from Steve Simos, making it 3-1 Hopkinton. One fifteen left on the penalty kill heading into the third period. But this great... TVL playoff matchup continues, and it will continue next on HCAM with the final 15 minutes. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back to Pirelli Veterans Arena here in Franklin, Massachusetts. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy, Eric Carty on the call, Matt Clark on camera, and we are ready for the third period. It's a 3-1 lead for the Hopkinton Hillers, but on a negative note for the Hillers, 115 left on the penalty kill, so they will be short a man to start off this third period, but Erica. 
In the first period, it was nonstop action. Both teams putting the pressure on. Second period slowed up a little bit, more of a defensive period, kind of back and forth. But of course, the Hillers, I think, still had more opportunities than Dover Sherborne. Ah, uh, they did. Yep. Yeah. And even on the penalty kill, they are at the end of the period. Uh, they had a couple offensive opportunities. So, DS knows this is it for them. They got to give it everything they got here. So the Hillers just want to play smart. Kill the penalty off and just keep the throttle down. No, don't sit back on the lead. Just keep doing what they've been doing. And as for Dover Sherbourne, I really think you got to come out with lightning speed here and try to get that goal, try to get that power play goal. It started off on the right foot. But it has been tremendous goaltending by both Dylan O'Leary and Aiden Britt today. And it's certainly been fun to watch these two goaltenders match up. It is, it is. And for the Hillers here, just the other big key is the coach in me just says, you know, you just want to get that puck in deep. No chances at the blue lines. Just play smart hockey because it's going to be turnovers that could win it or lose it here in the third. DJ Sloan will match up against Cole Condon in the face-off circle. And we are underway here in the third period. The final 15 minutes of regulation in this first round playoff game. That one put out a play by Lindquist. That's five seconds in. We'll have another face-off here in the neutral zone. This time from the far right circle. To the Hiller's zone, O'Leary will put it around the net, give him some time to regroup. Over along the corner is Arnone. Arnone jammed up with Lindquist. Arnone and Lindquist going at it, and another Blue Raider getting involved in the action. That one just got by Rooney. Hiller's with an opportunity here as Abbott comes flying down, but he'll be turned away by Britt. Smart move there by the goaltender. You don't want Abbott anywhere near you. And I thought Abbott was going to make a quick cut to the left there and almost picked that off. Lindquist up the near side and picking it up is Condon. Condon over to Markin. Markin, top of the left circle, turned away by Lindquist and O'Leary will put that one off to his right. Back to the top of the left circle, Goudrault. Out in front, that one knocked back towards Goudrault. Now it's stolen away, Abbott up the near side on a break. Here comes Will Abbott. Around one skater into the slot, the backhander, and that's a goal! The Hillers do it again! They open the period with a goal. Will Abbott to DJ Sloan on a beauty of a pass, and Sloan puts it right in. Uh, this line has just been on absolute fire for half the season. It's a great play by Abbott, cutting to the middle. Sloan going right down there. What a beautiful backhand pass. It's a nice redirect by Sloan. And on the kill, the boot. And there was just nobody in the area code of Sloan and Abbott. Some great. Stick work there by Abbott, set that one up. And that is the 20th assist by Will Abbott of the season. And that is his 53rd point for Sloan. That is his 14th goal and 35th point. Up the near side towards Papil. A 4-1 lead for the Hillers, things looking good. And by the way, the power play is still going on, and now the power play has officially ended. So even though the Hillers were short a man, it didn't stop them from scoring. Yeah, they've got such uh, great talent that uh, and the other thing that can't be overlooked too is the job that uh, Linquist has done uh, converting back from the forward position. He's just played incredible defense all year long and providing an offensive spark from back there as well. Owen Delaney will match up against Paolato. Now Paolato going to switch it up with Carithers. Laney puts that one up behind the net. Here comes Saporoshitz. Back to the neutral zone, handled by Papil. To the far side to Avedekin. Over Sherborne looking for a break here. Turned away. Good defensive play there by Saporoshitz. Up the far side we go. Saporoshitz wristing that one up in the air off of Avedekin, then meets up with a hit. Owen Delaney trying to turn it away over towards Walsh. That one knocked over to the near side by characters. Rister covered up by O'Leary. Papillo with a good shot there. Have a face off in the Hiller zone. 13 10 left to go. It's now a 4 1 lead for Hopkinton. And now for the Raiders, Tom. So they're at the point now where they're going to have to take chances uh, offensively. They're going to have to try to keep pucks in and do whatever they can do to climb back into this. The Hillers have scored a goal within the first three minutes of each period in this game. As we'll have another face off here as O'Leary had to glove that one. Snuck out by Abbott. Abbott up the near side, up against Papiel, puts it across over towards Simos. 
Simos on the chase down. Off the boards goes Gadral. Here comes Dover Sherborne looking for some momentum here. Abbott gets out in front and he'll try to turn it away. He's met up with a hit into the boards. Gilbert handles it. Up the near side of Popiel. Over on the near side corner. And getting it on the actual Sloan trip up the puck handler. Up the near side is Saperoshit. Or Lindquist rather. Crossover towards Sloan. Now up behind the net towards Abbott. That was handled by Dover Sherborne's Con Cole Condon. Back to the blue line. Gilbert puts it around. Now up to Lindquist on the near side we go. Abbott on along the corner with Papiel. Papiel puts it back around. Dover Sherborne just trying to get it out of their territory. They're having all kinds of issues. The Hillers keeping the pressure on, keeping their foot on the gas as they know they need to do in this postseason. Sloan leaves it out for Abbott in the high slot, but defenseman able to get there. And he's been up with a hard hit into the boards. And now at the top of the circle, Temple's, or excuse me, that was Simos turned away, and then it is gonna be Abbott. And they thought it was another goal, but maybe not. It looked like Britt might have covered it up. It's another great passing play there. The Hillers is all over the Dover Sherman Raiders in their end. Yeah, the Hillers uh, were trying to convince the refs they had a goal there, but the official says nope. No goal judges in this one. Owen Delaney in the face-off circle for the Hillers. 11.50 left to go in this third period. No one put back towards the neutral zone as Hamlet is trying to pass back, but no one there. Connor Delaney handles it along the near side, up towards Hamlet. Off the stick of Rooney for Dover Sherborne. Along the far side, offsides, DS. Well, this third period moving rather quickly. The Hillers have certainly maintained control of the puck for the most part. Here comes the Hillers trying to force it in to Dover Sherborne territory once again. Now along the near side, Walsh between the legs pass, and that shot turned away by Hamlet. Walsh up along the near side corner. Puts it back towards Owen Delaney. Owen Delaney met up with a hit along the boards. Connor Delaney leaves it out towards the slot, no one there. Back to the Hillers defensive zone, and that'll be icing. And so far, no real big threats here for Dover Sherbin, despite starting off with a power play in hand. And they look like they have just lost all momentum. Yeah, and, uh, you know, might be the double overtime there. Legs might still be a little weak. I think their mindset is no matter what we do, we can't beat this team. That's a goal! Off the glove of Britt, a wrister by Andrew Gilbert. It looked like it was going to be another fantastic save by Britt, but he's unable to wrap it up. Yeah, that's the backbreaker right there. Andrew Gilbert putting some zip on that shot. An unassisted goal. And that is Andrew Gilbert's actually his first goal of the season. Six point, he has five assists to his credit. So Gilbert into the score books. Good time to get it in the playoffs. And Linquist trying to sneak one in, that's in. and that's, that's another in. goal! Under the pad. A shot from the near side by Matt Linquist, and now the Hillers just dialing long distance. And Britt, was he shooken up there? The official no. checking him. I think he did get it. I, oh, no, I, he did. I, I thought right, that they, was in the net. So. I thought so too. They're going to say it was a save, so no goal there. But it remains a 5-1 lead for the Hillers and everything just going in Hopkinson's favor. Zach leaves that out in front of the net, the wrister, and that one wrapped up by Britt off the Rogers shot, and we're gonna have a penalty here. I saw a bunch of sticks in the air, and I saw one of those sticks come barreling down onto a Hillers player. And it's the one thing the Hillers don't wanna have go on now, because they're gonna be moving on most likely here with the score, and they don't wanna be losing anybody. Oh, surprisingly, no penalty. I could have sworn I saw a sticking there. That one wristed up in the air by Connor Delaney. It looked like it was going to be a Dover Sherborne penalty, but perhaps the stick uh, did not hit the player. Saparosha's top of the circle. Britt wraps that one up. Hiller's just uh, straight out shooting from wherever they get it now. And Rogers came flying in to try to sneak that one into the net and knocked over the goaltender. 
I don't know what that was about. It looked like he had it wrapped up pretty clearly. But there is uh, some emotion right now on the ice. Yeah, the Hill is be best just to get back to playing their hockey here, not get caught up in this stuff. Well, we do not have a penalty, surprisingly enough. Here comes Dover Sherborne, Rooney around the net. On the far side, Tian. Tian up against Abbott. Tien takes it back around. On the near side boards towards Penny, and he's met up with a hard hit. Hiller's trying to punish Dover Sherborne right now. Cole Condon chases it down into the far side corner. That one handled by Simos, puts it up the near side. Turned away by Rooney. Here comes Dover Sherborne on a break into the right circle. As Condon with a good pass back, and that one shot wide to the left by Tian. Over along the near side is Sloan. Puck still in Hiller's territory, jammed up along the corner. Connor Delaney trying to get it out from the possession of Condon, and he does. But back to the blue line, it goes towards Rooney. Now top of the circle, Markin. Well denied up the near side, over towards Rooney. Here comes the Hillers on a quick break. Sloan over to Abbott. Abbott looking for a shot here. The wrister turned away by Britt. Good save there. Back towards the neutral zone, Lindquist over to Abbott along the near side. Abbott <laughs> is able to sneak around. Markin just totally had him fooled there. Some great stick work. Up the far side, just past Gilbert. Over to the blue line. Owen Delaney pops it back around, and we'll have a whistle off sides. Yeah, one of the great uh, attributes of this Hiller team, Tom, is that they can play whatever the game dictates. If you want to play a fast skating game, they'll burn you with the speed. You want to play a hard hitting game, they got the bodies to punish you with the body. So they can do it no matter what the style of game is, they can play it. Well, Dover Sherborne, they started off uh, with some hard hits and looked like maybe they were going for some injuries there. So the Hillers responded in a big way. Jammed up along the far side and that was put around the boards by Walsh. He picked up in the corner by Hamlet. Hamlet leaves it out for Owen Delaney. Owen Delaney looking for the hat trick. He had two goals in the first period. Hamlet looking for Delaney in the slot. He'll put it at the top of the circle instead of Walsh, and that one's turned away by Britt. Hamlet met up with a hard hit into the boards by Gudralt. Hamlet and Gudralt tangled up along the far side. Owen Delaney trying to sneak it out along with Paolato for Dover Sherborne. Paolato is able to get to it first, but sold away by Owen Delaney, the backhander. Wide to the right it goes. Up behind the net, Hamlet. Hamlet jammed up into the corner. Sneaks up the near side, Lindquist with some speed on that one, but it's wrapped up by Britt. Britt with the glove save there, face off in Dover Sherborne territory. 8.25 left to go in regulation. Two more goals for the Hillers in this third period. Exactly one minute in, DJ Sloan with an assist from Will Abbott, and then at 11.09 left, Andrew Gilbert gets his first goal of the season. Along the near side, Kyle Rogers puts it behind a Temple. Temple sneaks it around the boards. And now he's going to hold on to it, rather. Out in front, no one there, taken by Arnone. Arnone meets up with Temple along the far side. Temple with the steal, looking for the shot. And that one is off the roof out of play. It was deflected off of Britt and flew off the net. The roof net. <laughs> 8.07 left to go on the third period. Hiller's now really just trying to keep possession, burn that clock. That's their number one goal. They wouldn't mind a few uh, other goals here. A near attempt there by Temple. Just wide to the left he goes. Up the far side, Rooney. And stolen away and knocked down to the ice there was Rogers. Up behind the net is Zach. He's going to uh, meet up with a hard hit. Dover Sherbin just not able to get the puck out of their end on. They're just uh, being hemmed in. Yep, they certainly are. Hiller is just totally dominating in this third period. They said, all right, now that we have you gassed, we're just going to hold on to this puck and score a couple more goals and walk away with this thing. That's it. You know, I've been around this program for a long time. It's a, it's a well-conditioned team, well-disciplined team, and that's what uh, you need to go through the playoffs. Oh, and the conditioning must be unbelievable for the Hillers because they, they always seem like they have energy. Abbott missed the opportunity there. Pay a lot along the far side. Pops that one up into the air. Back to the neutral zone it goes. O'Leary will turn it away. Sets it up for Lindquist. He wants to keep that clock running. Up the far side over to Simos. 
Miller's hockey team wants to get back to Hopkinton High School and support the girls' basketball team who's playing <laughs> right now. Larry puts it over to the far side corner. Jammed up into the corner is Gilbert. Up the boards to Simos. Left out in front to Abbott. That's turned away. Abbott tripped up. Handled by Carothers. Approaching seven minutes left to go in the third period. On the near side, Lindquist. Now, if you're Coach McPherson, do you consider maybe getting some of your stars out of the game to avoid injuries like Will Abbott, Owen Delaney? Uh, no, I think they'll, they'll play in right through time. They want to keep that momentum going for the next game coming up here, make sure everyone's in sync. Slowing up the near side into the right circle. Leaves it out in front. That one is in. Will Abbott. A beauty of a setup for Will Abbott to knock it in with 6.39 left to go. Yeah, this line, they just know each other are. I mean, this latter half of this whole season, this line has just been dominant in every game they've played. Will Abbott's second goal in this game and third point in this game. Will Abbott by far leading the team now with 34 goals overall and also 20 assists, 54 points for Will Abbott. That's got to be closer. I know, I think the school record for goals was in the high 30s. He's got a shot at it. Jammed up along the near side corner. A 6-1 lead now for the Hillers. Quick break, Owen Delaney. He risks that one and it's covered up by Britt. Owen Delaney looking for the hat trick there. Yeah, just the firepower that this team has. I mean, they were just an incredible offensive team to begin with, with, with uh, Owen Delaney back just adding a, you know, another weapon there. Uh, they're going to set up to go deep into the playoffs here. Well, the Hillers are going to advance more than likely, barring some kind of crazy miracle, to take on Dartmouth as that one's turned away by a defenseman, Papiel. Popped up in the air by Saparoshitz. Into the far side corner it goes. Yes, trying to at least get it into Hiller's territory, something they've pretty much failed to do all period long. Along the near side, Papiel up to Avedekin. There comes over Sherborne now. Higgins, top of the left circle, and that one is slashed away briefly. That shot wide to the left by Avedekin. Far, far away shot there. Walsh with some good stick work up the far side, leaves it behind as Saparoshitz picks it up. Saparoshitz along the boards, tangled up a little bit, but gets away with it. And he'll put it down back into the dover Sherborne territory. The Hillers going to switch up a couple players on the ice as well. And that one has popped up into Hillers territory, and that is going to draw the icing. And the Hillers showing here, Tom, the difference between a good team and a great team. In the third period when it's uh, big time, that's when they came up with it and just brought it. Yeah, three goals in this third period for the Hillers. Pretty unbelievable stuff. It started off like it was going to be a very close game, but the Hillers have run away with this one in the third period, up 6-1 to one with 5.15 left to go. And they are going to advance to take on 10 to Dartmouth over at Gallo Arena in Bourne. That game will likely be on Monday. Of course, it is still to be determined with all the postponements due to the recent storm. And of course, the Cape got hit very hard, so yep. hopefully Gallo Arena is ready to go. And thankfully, the MAA you know, made sure that these teams weren't going to be penalized because they were originally scheduled the winner of this to play at noontime tomorrow, which is a quick turnaround and uh, a little bit distance of a ride there, so give them a little bit of a break. Well, that and they also had to move a couple of the other uh, quarterfinals games to Sunday, so you still got two games in this bracket in this round that will take place on Sunday. Over to the far side to Rogers. Rogers, another goal! Kyle Rogers just gets around a couple of Blue Raiders and risks that one right past Britt. Icing on the cake. Nice pass, looked like Griffin Zach there sending the puck over. Seven to one, 447 left, and the Hillers. Gonna sub out everybody now, as they have secured this win with 4.47 left to go.
Kyle Rogers with his fifth goal of the season and six point. Looking for another goal here. That wrister turned away. That was Curtis Terry on the shot. Going to see if all four lines get a goal here. Yeah, why not? Along the far side, Weinstock. Poked up along the far side board. Saperoshitz will chase it down. He'll stay in there to provide some solid defense work. Jammed up along the near side. Curtis Terry trying to sneak it out. It goes back to Connor Delaney. Connor Delaney puts it around. Vedekin jammed up along the near side. Here comes Dover Sherborne Markin trying to get through the Hillers defenders. Not an easy thing to do. And it's taken back almost immediately by Hopkinton. Weinstock on a break, puts it along the far side wall. 353 and counting left in this third period. Over towards the blue line, quick break up the far side, Markin. Markin leaves it into the slot, looking for a shot here, the backhander, and O'Leary played that one off the left pad, and then it's knocked out of play by Abbott. Oh, another good save there by O'Leary. So getting you up to date on the bracket situation for this South Division Three sectional group. It is going to be Hopkinton who advances to take on Dartmouth. And then you got Bourne and Silver Lake who are going to play tomorrow. That's one of the games that got moved to Sunday and Rockland and Coyle Cassidy. So in the final eight so far, you got Hopkinton and Dartmouth. Ashland advanced with a 5-3 win over St. John Paul II. Bishop Stang advanced. They'll play the winner of Hanover and Abington. Out into the high slot. Turned away by the Hillers. Good defensive work there. Over Sherborne just... Looking for a goal for pride at this point against this Hillers fourth line. Another game uh, happening tonight, Blue Hills in Greater New Bedford as that one's turned away. And then also tonight you got Hanover and Abington. So the winner of those two games will also advance to the Elite Eight of the South Division Three sectional bracket. Some solid competition in that bracket, Eric. There is. It's, this is a tough, tough division. Very tough. We saw by the double overtime loss by the Hillers last year, but they got that experience, which is huge. So, And the great thing about the MIAA hockey tournament is it doesn't matter what seed you are. Ashton was a 20th seed who beat a fourth seed. Exactly, yep. So seeding really doesn't mean a whole lot when it comes to this MIAA playoffs. No, the playoffs is just a whole, whole different atmosphere. I mean, basketball seeding certainly means something, usually. But in hockey, not a whole lot at all. And that one is knocked out of the air by Britt. In the far side circle left out in front. Griffin Zach just recently came back into the game with possession. Puts behind a Hunter Temple. Hillers just want to make sure that uh, the fourth liners don't get pushed around too much. Gilbert over to Lindquist. Lindquist turned away there. Missed it up the far side We're on the chase down. I think they're trying to get every line in there to yep. get a decent amount of playing time, you know, and they're going to switch it up again. And just going back to the, the bracket talk there, Tom, you know, a lot of the uh, uh, top seedings here, they all get a bye, and sometimes that bye doesn't always play well for a team. It gives you a little more of a layoff, and that team coming off having played another game uh, can sometimes surprise some of those higher-up seeds. Right. And I think that's a reason, too, why you're seeing just about everybody on the Hillers roster get into this game, get an opportunity. Back to the neutral zone, there's Weinstock to pick it up. up along the far side. Minute 28 and counting left to go in the third period. A 7-1 lead for the Hillers. Here comes Dover Sherborne, Markin looking for a goal. And he can't get around Sheamus. Sheamus speeds up with Markin in the near side corner. Picked up briefly by Kirk. Now it's jammed up along the sideboards. Into the left circle, trying to force that one. He left out in front. No one's there for Dover Sherborne. Cole Condon with a good opportunity there. Was hoping that someone would pick it up in the slot. Less than a minute left to go before the Hillers can officially say they have advanced on to the quarterfinals to take on Dartmouth. Up along the near side. Out in front by Markin. Well, you know, you got to give hats off to Dover Sherborne. They had a tremendous season. Certainly a lot of talent on their rosters. That backhander is just wide to the left. They did. They came to play tonight, that was for sure. The TVL was one of the toughest leagues in MIA hockey. Is that one covered up by O'Leary? 
attempt to jam it in there. 24.3 seconds left to go in regulation. Nice to hear the DS crowd there supporting their seniors. I know this is their last game. Getting a little encouragement despite the score. Yeah, it certainly is. And uh, most of them stuck around too, which is showing uh, some good class there. Over to the blue line, Arnone. Top of the circle, turns it back towards Savetikin. That one knocked around to the far side. Picked up behind the net by Condon. Most of the DS starters still in there. Going to play this one out, and we'll have a whistle with 5.7 left. I think at this point, you don't have to stop the clock, but we'll do it anyway. I'm not sure if that rule happens in the playoffs, though. The clock stoppage rule. No, I don't I think, think that's it only does. for a regular season. Face off with 5.7 left. And that is going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers advance. A 7 to 1 victory over the Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders. A great win today for the Hillers. Three goals in the first period, one in the second period. It was Owen Delaney with a couple in the first. Will Abbott with a goal in the second, and then four more goals for the Hillers in the third. 2 1 4 goal wise throughout the three periods. In the third, it was DJ Sloan with. 14 minutes left, Andrew Gilbert with 11.09 left, Will Abbott with 6.39 left, and Kyle Rogers with 4.47 left. Eric, uh, an impressive effort by the Hillers, and when it came down to it, they really just dominated on all facets of this game. They did, you know, this coaching staff uh, does, does a great job getting them prepared, telling them what they need to do and how to go about it, and they just came out and they played every facet of the game to perfection tonight. Well, the uh, Hopkinton Hillers advance on to the quarterfinals. They'll meet up with 10th seeded Dartmouth over at Gallo Arena in Bourne. Of course, the location, the time, the date, subject to change due to the recent weather that we have had. But for now, we will wrap up coverage of this first round playoff game as the Hopkinton Hillers take down the Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders. 7 to 1. For Matt Clark on camera, my broadcast partner Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy, and this has been a presentation of Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day, everyone, and we'll talk to you soon.